Well, not a bad Monday. We have had a break in the severe weather threat. Overnight tonight, maybe an isolated shower, thunderstorm with smaller hail because we've got a warm front coming in uh, from the south. So much, much warmer tomorrow. The humidity is really going to climb too, and you're going to notice that as we see dew points return to the 60s. And it kind of sets the stage for some stronger thunderstorms late Wednesday afternoon, but I, I don't expect a widespread risk of severe weather uh, because a lot of the the wind shear is going to be lifting north of the area. So uh, again, a strong storm or two can't be ruled out, uh, but a lot of the focus as far as severe weather goes is on tomorrow, and that's going to be out to the west. But here, the temperatures earlier today, 77 down in Tuscaloosa, 81 in Little Rock. That's the warm front. That's where those thunderstorms may fire and produce some hail for a brief period of time into the evening hours, and that's going to push through uh, our area overnight tonight. So 9 o'clock tonight, a uh, break in the clouds, but they come right back after midnight, and the model guidance really doesn't have a whole lot of thunderstorm activity during the overnight hours, but uh, don't be surprised with an isolated shower storm. As we go through the day tomorrow, it's really going to warm up. The sun's going to come out, and it's going to feel hot. It's going to feel more like the 90s out there with temperatures in the low to mid 80s and higher humidity. South wind will pick up a bit as that storm system gets better organized to the north uh, over uh, parts of the upper Midwest. But around here, we're just going to enjoy it. 86 degrees in Florence around 3 o'clock. How about 83 in Huntsville, 84 Decatur. So a really nice warm afternoon tomorrow. A few more clouds coming in late. But here's the next weather maker. This is going to be the thunderstorm activity and kind of what's left of the severe weather threat uh, late Wednesday, uh, late actually Tuesday into Wednesday. And this boundary will fire back up. There will be a few strong thunderstorms uh, and we'll warm back up into the 80s. So what's really going to lead to this strong thunderstorm threat is just how warm and muggy it's going to be. The air will be unstable. However, uh, there's not a lot of wind shear. So that's good news for us. But if you are traveling across this boundary, it could get rough, especially in the upper Midwest. But by 5 o'clock Wednesday, scattered showers, thunderstorms starting to come through the shoals. Notice the temperature difference. This is just your typical cold front here. Again, not a lot of wind shear along it, but a few strong storms into the evening hours here. This is about 9 o'clock Wednesday night. Temperatures begin to cool off, and through the overnight hours, it's going to be a heavy rain event. Rain's going to settle in and it's going to be problematic most likely for that Thursday morning commute as well as we see more rain and on into the afternoon hours too. So overall, this is really just a heavy rain event, a few strong storms. And looking ahead to uh, the weekend, Easter Sunday looks okay. I think the rain should get out of here during the morning if it's even around at all. If anything, hopefully this will speed up. But Friday looks awfully wet late in the day into Saturday. I think Saturday it may rain all day into the overnight hours. Also notice the trend of cooler weather too. This is going to keep severe weather at bay here as we see temperatures in the 60s and we might only warm into the 50s as we get into Sunday. Have another look at that. I'll have another look at that forecast coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Again, we'll be talking about this Wednesday thunderstorm threat. See if anything changes with that.